Hello everyone, my name is Nsingus Patrick, the CEO of IFAN Africa. Uh, I want to let you know where I am before I tell you my story because uh, I want to talk about IFAN. I come from a family of uh, eight people and I'm the thick born. I come from Mitoma district, Rinda North constituency. And uh, I didn't go find school. After my high school, I decided to go to business. I tried business and also tried security. I have a security background. But how did I end up in network marketing is the reason why I'm talking to you today. Uh, in the year 2004, together with my wife, we had a chance to travel to, the, to Hong Kong for another business, garment business. And we happened to meet uh, some leaders, some distributors of a certain company from Philippines. And uh, these people, the distributors, shared with us some information about their company. So when we came back to Uganda, I interested myself more to know about the business. And uh, shortly after, I had again to travel to the Philippines, where the company was coming from, to find more about it. After a month, after meeting the, the chairman and the founder of the company, we were able to sign uh, exclusive rights to run the same business down here in Africa. And uh, in a period of about a year, I'll tell you, uh, the same company that I was the first CEO and my wife was the managing director was able to change uh, very many people's lives. Because in a year, about seven people had already received their cars. Uh, their second year, again, seven people were able to get houses out of their effort that they were putting in their business. By the way, the, the chief guest was the, his ex the president of the republic. He was there to officiate uh, at giving out those houses. We kept on working with my wife, of course. But along the way, success, I think maybe because we're still young, might have caught up with us. My relationship and my then wife could not continue. Of course, as mature people, we agreed that uh, she should stay in the business for the sake of ourselves and our children. Since I have two passions I've always had uh, from my childhood, that's business and security. So I decided to invest in a private security company. Actually, the year 2009, that's how Tiger Security was founded. I left my previous company very successful. People were earning serious money. And that's the good news about actually network marketing, which I never had an idea about. So I started Tiger Security, which is also a success. Because as I speak today, we employ more than 1,000 people, 1,000 cars across the country. But prior to that, I was into the importation of cars, which I did also for a short time. So I've been in security since 2009 up to the year 2017. 2017, a friend of mine invited me again to start uh, a network company, still dealing in health products. But he had uh, a pattern from China, whom I didn't know anyway. So as we started this business, along, along the way, after a year, I saw I could not get to my dreams there because the two principals had some their own issues. And I normally want to do things transparent, so I decided to go back to my security company. So from 2018 to 2019, I've, I've still been into uh, security business. By the way, I'm also a farmer. I own a tea plantation where I come from, over 30, 30 acres of tea plantation. So I've been earning some money from there. And also opened up along the way, I opened up another security company in Kenya called Cafe Security. So basically I'll tell you, uh, I've been in business for quite some time and I've honestly made some quite good money from business. The reason I love network marketing is because it's a business of the people. No matter how much you have, no matter what kind of education you have, it's a business that definitely if you have the passion for it, if you're an entrepreneur, it will change your life. So. 29, uh, 2019, in July, I contacted a friend of mine in the Philippines, whom I had worked with before in 2004 to 2009, to get me a company that we could partner with and bring back to Africa. 
and this is how I find was started. Uh, January 2020, on the 4th, I traveled to the Philippines to meet the owners of IFAN, the founders of IFAN in the Philippines. IFAN is doing very well in the Philippines, but has not been anywhere in the world. So the good news is that IFAN is starting right away here in Africa and in Uganda as its headquarters. So when I met the president, the founder of the company, first of all, I was impressed because uh, this is a family that is seven billion US dollars worth. Anybody would want to work with a stable company. And uh, of course, such a family, such an organization has a reputation. So I knew definitely if I was to partner with these people, it was going to be very good, not only for me, but for the African people and Uganda in particular. So IFAN was registered in FAPE and we already opened and running. But as I speak now, I'm trying to talk to you because there is an opportunity for everyone out there who is an entrepreneur. Whether you want to do this business full-time or part-time, you still have a chance. Now, since I've already told you it's a network company, it means that it's about people. Now, the earlier the people get into the business, the more it will be easy for them to get more people joining them. Now, this is the message for me to you today, that IFAN is just starting, not only in Uganda, but in Africa. It's an opportunity I would call each and every one of you who is interested in doing business, that it's not all about the money, because IFAN deals in health products, it deals in products, uh, healthcare products. So we don't care. We, I mean, we, we mind about people's health and also mind about people's income. So if you're really interested, I would really feel that's better for you to come and join us now. I thank you.